Hello, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Ashok Sahu and I'm a system architect with the Embedded Business Group um, in, um, in Micron. And I'm going to take the next 10 or 12 minutes to talk about um, edge storage and video security. Technology innovation are driving the growth in the video security industry. Artificial intelligence, IoT, and 5G technologies, they're also advancing at a very rapid pace, which is enabling newer products, newer solutions, newer uh, applications in the video security industry. This market is predicted to go to 83 billion US dollars by 2030. And that, that is the estimated IP video security and video security as a service market. Uh, according to Allied Market Research, and uh, it's growing at a 10.9 percent CAGR. And so, what's uh, making that happen? It's the uh, the edge computing and the cloud computing. It's actually um, moving the on-premise um, uh, video management to a cloud-based solution. So, what is VSAS? Video security as a ser service is a, basically it's a cloud-based solution that offers managed video security service with a subscription plan. Most organizations are they're always looking for the most cost-efficient solution for video security applications for their facility. The concept of the VSAS model is gaining traction versus the conventional security system options as a result. So the advantages of VSAS is the remote management across different sites, system scalability and upgradability, third-party software integration, and it also can result in lower total cost of ownership. So when it comes to VSAS, depending on the storage location, it can be broadly divided into three types or three categories. One is hosted VSAS, managed VSAS, and hybrid VSAS. Hosted VSAS is where the video is generated on site and is transferred over the network to the service provider's data center. Once the video is there in the data center, the recorded video is uh, provided to the end client over the, uh, over the cloud as a service. And then managed VSAS, as opposed to hosted VSAS, is that the video is stored on premise. And, uh, but uh, the, the management of it and uh, monitoring of it is done through a cloud service. And the third one is hybrid VSAS, which is literally as a combination of both, where the storage that's on the camera, the, it's used as the primary storage, and the cloud is used as a backup. And, and, I'm, and I'll go through some of the disadvantages with bandwidth and, and I mean, uh, hosted VSAS and managed VSAS and how hybrid VSAS overcomes that. The trouble with hosted VSAS is that your uh, it's a network bandwidth, and uh, especially if something goes wrong with the network, then you will lose all your video security footage for that amount of time. Or if you start adding more and more cameras, then the bandwidth requirement goes up, and uh, that's also like an addition cost addition. Whereas managed VSAS. Uh, the, although the video is stored on premise, but again something goes wrong with that recording device, then you lose your uh, all the all the security footage. Or if you add more cameras, then the the NVR has to has the ability. It must have the ability to take these extra channels. If it doesn't, then you have to get in, invest more money in a newer NVR. The way hybrid VSAS overcomes that is the, is the recording. The storage medium is in the camera itself, and with the micro SD cards getting up to very high capacity, like 512 gigabytes or one terabyte, uh, it's now you can use that as a primary storage and use the cloud as a backup storage. Or, if you want extended storage, then you can have that footage on the on the on the cloud. So, it overcomes the the network bandwidth challenge because it's stored on the card itself. And should, should a client need to store the video in cloud as a backup, then, then they can use that. Next, I want to talk about VSAS with uh, intelligent edge devices. 
So now that more and more cameras now have uh, arti artificial intelli intelligence built into it, so having the storage at the edge offers a bunch of uh, some advantages. For example, uh, if in the traditional system, if any of any artificial intelligence uh, analytics had to be done, the video had to be sent over the network back to the data center where the analytics were done and, and the information sent back to, to the camera. But here, because the data is stored on the micro SD card, the analytics can be done right there and it's much faster. As far as flexibility and scalability is concerned, uh, you can use the same micro SD card and depending on the client's need, you can configure it to record it for 30 days or 60 days or even 120 days. Depends on the resolution, so it's very flexible. Scalability, all you have to do is add a new camera and just authenticate on the cloud and you're up and running. And reliability is, uh, like I mentioned in the previous slide, that um, uh, there's no worry for network you know, going down and, and losing your video footage. So it's, it's the micro SD, because of the high capacity, it, it makes it a lot easier to have, um, have this hybrid uh, model where you can store all the video on the camera itself. I'll, g I'll give some examples of some of the applications. I, I, <clears throat> I talked about uh, vSAS, which is over there. Then uh, another application is Smart Home, where having the micro SD card on, on the device itself uh, allows you to store the information on the card. So again, uh, you don't have to send the information over the network to, to, to the cloud. And then as far as mobile security is concerned, depending on, uh, this is, we're talking about body-worn cameras. And so obviously it, it's very difficult to send that information to the cloud uh, from a body-worn suit. So having, a, having the storage on a micro SD card makes it very, very simple, very easy. And then another application is the uh, video telematics where uh, you have uh, cameras in a bus or a train looking at the, looking inside the, the compartment or cabin or even looking at the driver. And if, if that data was to be sent back to the cloud, then it'll be using the cellular network. Again, bandwidth becomes an issue. So therefore, having a micro SD card uh, makes it, uh, it facilitates that operation. And uh, when it comes to what kind of micro SD card, uh, the popular belief is that all micro, micro SD cards are similar, which is not true. Because depending on the application, especially in a surveillance or video security type of application where uh, you're constantly recording 24-7, uh, if you're not using the right kind of card, uh, it will, it will it'll break. It'll, it may last a month or so, but it will finally fail. And so it's choosing the right kind of card is very, very important when you are looking at uh, edge storage. So why Micron micro SD card? With the Micron micro SD card, we offer 2 million hours of MTTF, 24-7 continuous recording, three to five years lifetime, and total bytes written up to 1920 terabytes. And we offer capacities from 32 gigabytes to 1.5 terabytes. The storage capacity on the, over there, 1.5 terabytes, that's, uh, that is the highest capacity micro SD card available. We are introducing that. It will be in the market very soon. We also offer smart tools, which allows you to query the card and see how much, what percent of life is left in that card. And then, as far as performance is concerned, we, we have optimized a firmware such that the sustained write performance does not fall below a certain minimum uh, value, which is re really important because in a security, video security application, uh, if, if the card cannot keep up with the, the video stream that's coming in, you will start losing frames. So we have made sure that we don't fall below that and you have no uh, frame loss. So this is what I was talking about. We're introducing world's first 1.5 terabyte micro SD card. 
It's made possible by Micron's 176 layer 3D NAND technology. We put 12 of these NAND devices inside a micro SD package, allowing us to get up to 1.5 terabytes. So this new card, uh, the 1.5 terabyte card, is part of the i400 series uh, that we're introducing very soon. And the key advantages are high performance, it supports AI workload, high endurance, uh, enhanced power loss protection, and uh, thermal management as well as uh, card management where um, using some vendor specific commands you can get the health information and some other very uh, pertinent information for, an for analysis, etc. So this is what I was talking about a little, just a couple of minutes ago, why sustained write performance is uh, very, very important. If you look at this, uh, the, the Micron i400 card over there on the top right there, you can see that uh, the performance never falls below one megabyte per second, whereas um, a competitor's card, uh, there are lots of data points which fall below one megabyte per second, which means if you were to use the card on the bottom right, you will have frame loss, whereas the i400, no frame loss. It's really important in a video security application. And uh, also important is what kind of card you're choosing. If you choose a retail card, it's not going to last very long in a, in a surveillance or a video security application because of the constant writing. Whereas uh, the i400 gives you at least minimum five years of uh, life. And it depends on the, the bit rate, et cetera, but minimum fi five years of life. So it, when it comes to choosing the micro SD for edge storage, what we're saying is Micron has the right solution for that application.